growth is a process like natural growth spiritual growth is also a process it's a journey that uh, we must make 1 john chapter 2 and verse 6 he who says he abides in him ought himself also to walk just as he walked so we are called to walk just the way jesus walked in every area of our lives so we are here to represent jesus well but this too is something that we must grow into and how will this growth come this growth will come by the work of god's word in our spirit god's word working in our hearts and his spirit changing us and transforming us growth happens in stages um, and, and therefore uh, as we walk into becoming more like jesus as as we grow up into the calling that god has for us we must accept the fact that there will be seasons uh, and uh, um, i believe there must be seasons of progress where we are moving higher and higher into the purposes of god for our lives and i just want to encourage us not to be uh, not not to be dismayed if we are not seeing uh, uh, an accelerated growth both right away but ju- to just keep on trusting god to keep on uh, giving ourselves to uh, uh sowing uh, god god's word into our lives because that that will bring uh, a definite growth uh, let's take the example of paul the apostle paul the apostle is is uh, a, a noted and a, and a very important apostle but as we consider his journey uh, we understand that he too did not become uh, a mighty apostle uh, in a very short period of time but he went through his journey though god called him in a dramatic and a miraculous way and introduced him to the purpose of god for his life uh, he still had to pursue god he still had to pursue spiritual growth so what did paul do no paul held on to the promise of god he held on to uh, the fact that uh, one day he would become this apostle that god had called him to be but at the same time we we study about paul that he devoted himself to learning and preaching the word of god and many refer to these years of paul the apostle as the silent years and in fact uh, paul the apostle had a gap of 17 years from the time of his conversion to the time when uh, he he began to step out in ministry uh, in a powerful way and so even he had to go through uh, stages in his journey he too had to grow step by step and level by level and as long as we come it ourselves to um, uh, the things of god uh, rest assured you no know, god's word is is that incorruptible seed which will bear fruit now, there's nothing wrong with the word uh, what god is looking for is the right heart and when we sow the incorruptible word of god it will bear fruit a 30 60 and 100 fold So I just want to encourage us to to make this journey uh, and keep um, uh, uh, trusting God for growth in in uh, your spiritual uh, walk with him and to keep desiring growth that's very important for us to be excited uh, uh, about uh, more um, in his kingdom you know there's always so much more we can keep going ankle deep knee knee deep and and you know just just uh, start swimming in the river of god and we've got to desire that and that's that's when growth will come let's pray together Heavenly Father thank you that you desire each one of us to grow in you Lord and we praise you that you've given us oh God I pray that each one of us will grow up father from uh, the the place where we are Lord into greater things oh God into deeper things Lord to understand your love oh God the height the width the depth of it father God and, and Lord I I pray God that that each of us will be changed oh God and, and God draw closer to you we thank you Lord we thank you for for uh, uh, this this amazing relationship and the opportunity father to experience growth in jesus name we pray amen thank you for tuning in to living supernaturally for more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk please visit apcwo.org